Hi. Some days I just want to sit down in front of my camera and just talk. Normally I don't bother because I'm lazy. Today I'm going to have to make an, uh, an, accept of, uh, an exception to that rule because I was told that if I don't make a video today, thousands of cats would be put in bags and thrown into the river. And I don't want that on my conscience to be fair, so... Let's begin. Today my main task was to organise all my posters. I have about 10 posters and a big photograph that my friend took. And I want to punch the person who is the head of the poster manufacturing organisation, if that's even a thing. I have 11 different posters, all of which I want to frame. And every single one of my posters is a different size. But that's not even what I want to talk about. While we're on this topic though, I'm going to show you something. Just because I want to boast. To Matt. With love, Quentin. And I still haven't seen the film because it's not even out here yet. That's some good tea. So for the past few days, I've been trying to sort out my sleep schedule because it was seriously messed up. And you might be sitting there thinking, yeah, 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 we all have a messed up sleep schedule. I go to bed late, whatever, blah, blah. But I can probably try for a couple of weeks towards the end of last year and the beginning of this year. I was going to bed at 9 in the morning and waking up at 5 in the evening. For no reason other than just that's what was happening. You know it's bad when you don't see daylight. That's, that's the main point right there. Just don't see daylight. It's not great. So, for the past few days, I've been trying to cure this by going to bed at a reasonable time, waking up at a reasonable time, you know, just the normal human being type stuff. And in my attempts to get to sleep at a normal period of time, I was suggested to take these tablets called Nitol. They're not like chemicals, it's not even drugs, it's herbal tablets. From the box it says, contains a blend of natural herbs to soothe and to aid restful sleep. There's also a typo on the box, because it says so aid restful sleep, not two. Doesn't fill you with confidence really, does it? And basically, since I've been taking these an hour before I go to bed, two things have happened. Firstly, I've been waking up at five o'clock in the morning, on the dot, for the past three days, and unable to sleep again. Not the best thing if you're supposed to be putting people to sleep. Secondly, I've actually been having dreams and remembering them, which for normal people, again, is perfectly normal, but I don't dream and I don't remember dreams. And actually, since the 1st of January, I've been keeping a diary journal type deal of just everything I've been doing. And then for the past few days, I've been writing down the dreams that I've had. But by far the weirdest dream that I've had so far since I've been dreaming is just the one from two nights ago, where I'm in some sort of weird desert type landscape and it starts off with Alex Day, Neramon on YouTube, telling me that he wanted to use one of my videos as his thumbnail for a Sure, alright, whatever. Go for it lad, I don't care, you can have it if you want. At which point my friend Greg, and a reoccurring theme, he appears wearing what can only be described as 80s Hawaiian outfit with the Hawaiian shirts and the thing around his neck and he's wearing rollerblades, but he's rollerblading on the sand. I'm no physics expert, but I don't think that's possible. And the best bit was, he's throwing a frisbee around. Just out of nowhere, Felicia Day appears, wearing nothing but her underwear, and you're thinking like, hey up, calm down, nothing weird. I honestly weren't doing nothing weird. I've not even watched Felicia Day in anything, so I don't know where she came from. And she's complaining because all her clothes are wet and she's had to put them out to dry. So if somebody can tell me what dreams mean, I'd very much appreciate it. And I'm sure this is totally normal for a million other people, or a billion other people, but I, I don't remember dreams until this week, so my mind's a little bit blown right now. Anyway, thanks for that. Thanks for listening. I just wanted to chat shit for a while, so there you go.